So, as you saw, the torso kind of rotated. So let's take a look, see what's uh, going on. Um, don't worry about that, it's just the Gorilla Tape is coming apart, so it looks a little wonky, but the underlying structure is okay. Uh, we'll go under. What's going on is this washer isn't a large enough surface area to deal with the force of the torso rotating through the linear actuator under there. So, what's going on is the screw, or the bolt, is bending and it's also deforming the platform right here. So what I'm probably going to have to do is get a few metal plates, secure them on either side of the torso deck. That way it makes a nice sort of a sandwich and distributes the pressures uh, evenly throughout. I've got the battery and a box, and I've got wires going every which way, and the pedals are... One second. Right here, in the cockpit. Um, I don't have anything in hooked up to the floor because, obvious reasons, you're gonna need to scrape off the snow and Probably put a tarp over this entire thing while I'm working on it during the winter. Thankfully I have an old um, RV tarp that's just kicking around, so should be able to use that. But, work out the kinks for that torso rotation. All I gotta do is weatherize everything, aka wrap it in black plastic, put a big old tarp over it, and then I'm gonna be hooking up the uh, uh, control cables to the snowblower so then it'll actually be moving back and forth and I also should probably test that the uh, linear actuator for the steering uh, still works with all this additional weight on it but in all likelihood it'll probably just be a materials failure aka the mounting points um, warping a bit other than the uh, actuator braking itself so it's really, really cold, so I'm gonna go inside and have a nice warm cup of cocoa. So, be sure to like and subscribe, and until next time, bye-bye.